People ask me all of the time, Jamie Grace, why are you single? At shows, when I was in school, even at church sometimes. Why are you so sad? Why are you always alone? One, cause I'm antisocial, duh. Two, I'd rather spend my days hiding under a rock than going out and meeting boys. Three, dating is bad, 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 bad. Four, all boys smell like poo. That one's actually kind of true. I've never been asked out on a date before. Lies. 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 Friends. Associates. People who are watching this video because you're bored. I have a confession. A real one. I'm not single because I have to be. I'm pretty sure Christian Mingle, eHarmony, or my grandma could set me up with someone if I wanted them to. But the thing is, I'm an old-fashioned kind of girl. Which is ironic because my grandma is pretty old fashioned and I actually know an adorable married couple that met via one of those websites. I've just never been one to date for fun because he was single, attractive, and close to my age. There's got to be something more than that. Right, Jay Nettles? In middle and high school, it was the thing to just date, date, date. And that's what some of the girls did. And I mean, I don't know. They would always ask me why I spent my Friday nights with my family or hanging out with friends or why I would go to dances with a group of girls. And I would just always go back to them and ask, well, why are you dating? And their responses were always, oh, it's fun. Or, cause it's fun. Or simply, it's fun. So I'd say, you know what else is fun? A dog. I don't have to text it all day, tell it where I am, ask it where it's going, get all jealous because it has friends that I don't know yet. I mean, we can just hang out all the time, be BFF, so when I need some alone time and I go inside and close the door, it thinks I disappeared. That may sound dumb to you. Honestly, it probably sounds very dumb to you. So please indulge me on this quick trip down picture lane of other things that can be done for fun instead of dating just because. Scrabble, turtle shopping, cooking, eating, dance parties, dance parties by yourself, Dance parties with a jukebox by yourself when your med school roommate is not studying for a test. Washing dishes. Taking out the trash. Painting. Eating. Movie nights. Girls nights. Singing. Eating. Learning a new language. Eating. Exercising. Not exercising. Learning an instrument. Texting your parents when you live next door asking them to bring you food. Eating. My parents always taught me to do everything with intention. Of course it's an essential part of life to just have fun, i.e. pick your lane, but when dating is something that can be done with intention, why spend your precious time doing it for no reason? Why not wait until it's right and spend that time with someone who truly deserves yours? Your time, like yours, like yours meaning time, like the, the time is, is I mean, is no one else thinking of a super chick song? Your time is now. The time that we've been given is a gift. Don't waste it. I'm not going to tell you when to date. My parents met in their 20s, were married by 22, and had my sister and I before they were 30. Willie Robertson and his wife met in high school. And one of my best friends, her name's Tiffany, she met her Kiyoki when they were in their 30s, and they're adorable. I'm also not going to tell you who to date. I mean, I could be making this video that is being watched by the future Miss Tebow right now. That could be you. I really should not put that in so many girls' heads. I'm not going to tell you that your first or even second date is going to be with the guy that you marry and have kids with and grandchildren with. But I can only imagine that it wouldn't be too stressful if it wasn't like your 100th date. I can only speak from experience, and anybody that knows me personally knows that I am an open book. I always say that someday God's going to send me some amazing guy who reminds me of my dad or he doesn't have a chance, and that has the sweet and gentle personalities of my granddads and some of the coolness of my brother-in-law, because my sister got a good one. But ultimately, he'll love God, love people, and maybe even love the Gaither vocal band just as much as I do. This could be in the next 20 years or the next 20 minutes, but honestly, the next few hours are going to be spent working on this video, and I'm not really sure what God can do with me sitting at home overdoing it on Gatorade and popcorn. But regardless of when, where, and who, I felt like I just had to answer the question that I get all of the time. Why am I so single and sad and alone? I believe I was created by the creator of love. And I know that he knows my dreams, my hopes, and my future. And I believe it's my goal to live a life that is pleasing to him, doing whatever it is he has in store, while I am, and after I have waited on the love of my life. I believe that true love is the most beautiful thing in the world, and I believe that it's worth waiting for, and I really hope that you'll give waiting a chance, too. 
Because I believe that true love is the most beautiful thing on the planet, and probably on the other planets too. There is a trash bag in my room. From the top of my head to the soles of my feet, no.